maybe because I cover all the different sports, and because even in my book, the comeback on the on the Cavaliers, I wrote about the kind of trades the Cavs made, where in effect what they did is they bought draft picks by taking on bad contracts. When the Browns made a deal with Houston, and they brought in Brock Osweiler and a $16 million contract, and basically in a way to get a second round draft pick, it didn't surprise me, and I thought it was a good idea. Now, so many of the old line NFL people, you would swear, first of all, you would think it was their money that was coming out of their pocket that was involved in this trade. Secondly, you would think the Browns has just decided we're going to play nine-man football where everybody else is playing 11, that you can't do this. This is a smart move. You know, the Browns make it very clear that Brock Osweiler is not the guy that they think is going to start or whatever, but Brock Osweiler is a mediocre quarterback where mediocre quarterbacks keep getting jobs in this league. Secondly, a second-round pick is, is of value. Yes, you could mess it up. But, for example, on the Browns right now, Jamie Collins, who they traded for from New England, just gave a $50 million deal to, he was a second-round pick. Joel Batonio, who one of the few good picks made by Ray Farmer, a second-round pick, just got a big contract from the Browns. You can get good players in the second round, or you could use that second-round pick to move up. So I'm all for it. I don't want to even hear all this grumbling about, oh, they pay $16 million for a second-round pick. Furthermore, I look at Brock Osweiler. Somehow he was 13-8 and eight as a starter. Now, don't ask me how. His stats don't really line up very well. But, he, again, he was 13-8 and eight as a starter with both Denver and Houston. And if you line up now, I'd rather have Brock Osweiler playing right now than RG3. Now the Browns are going to be looking in the draft and doing other things with quarterbacks. But I guess when it comes to this trade, just don't listen to all the noise. The Browns did the right thing and see what their next move is at quarterback. <laughs>